things. I'll read, read the first part again. First, let's say first. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 28. The heart of the righteous study of to answer. Yeah, because um, uh, the uh, the uh, brothers there in the truth, we um, we study, we um, do research before we um, before we come out our mouth and say stuff like these. The other people, they just they just say whatever's on their mind and stuff like that. It says uh, the heart of the righteous study to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pour out evil things. Yeah, they don't have like going back to the fear of love. Like people, pe uh, wicked, they just say whatever they want to out of out of their mouth and all this stuff like that. Like. Like my um woman's mom, she was um I, I mean I I guess I was just practicing and all this stuff. I know that Pete they're not gonna uh like, you know, every time we talk to women and all this stuff it just goes in one ear and out the other. Like she's telling me, um, I'm trying to tell her like about how like, you know, people think that uh like the scripture says about um uh, you know, age and stuff like that. Like people think just because they're older than you, they know everything and all this stuff and she's trying to tell me, um, basically she's the so called Christian that goes to church every Sunday and all this stuff but then She's telling me, like, don't read out the Bible and all this. I want to hear what you think and all this stuff. That's what a fool would say. Like, a wise person is going to read out the scriptures. Like, I read her the scripture, uh, was it, um, is it First Peter 4 and 11 about, um, uh, uh, what is it, um, basically, yeah, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. Like, that's how we're supposed to speak. That's how a person with integrity speaks. And then I said, you know, about, um, Jeremiah uh, 17 and 9, about how uh, the heart is deceitful. Like what do we what do we know? We just uh, uh, humans and stuff like that. Like scriptures, the Bible is true wisdom. I can I can other precepts. You know that? You know that? Peter's. Uh, yeah. yeah. This is uh Second Timothy two verse fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah, and then I mean I, that <clears throat> going back to what I was saying about. Yeah, what she, I mean, not to use her example, but, like, she was saying about how people are, uh, you know, people, basically, like, our people, you know, they don't, they don't like studying and all this stuff like that, but that's something, that, like, the scripture just said, you're supposed to study, like, talking about, like, how getting into words and Hebrew words and all that, that's too much and all that stuff, but that's what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to be diligent in this, you know, um, we're not supposed to, uh, we're not supposed to be lazy and slothful and all that stuff, that you're supposed to be diligent. I mean, that's, that's the way a uh, or Israelite man should be trying to conduct themselves, not be slothful. And that's that's the, the people that don't like studying is like um, Nathaniel 7, and, or Nate Satan, and, um, and uh, General Gahana, and all those, and 14th Street Israelite, all those other people. I know the people I just named, those are some examples. They don't, they don't um, you know, study to show ourselves approved and stuff. So, I have a precepts. Yeah, this one. Uh, Romans 12, verse 11. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Yeah, we supposed to be fervent in the spirit, hot, uh, not cold, not uh, you know, uh, conducting ourselves like these other uh, Israelites, you know, basically. Uh, which is good here. All right, uh, Micah, Micah two and ten. So Micah chapter two verse ten. Uh, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Yeah, the scripture says, Arise and depart. Arise meaning to awaken, depart meaning to basically uh, remove ourselves from this. Uh, this. Okay, keep reading. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. Yeah, and this place is polluted. Like, who, who, who would want to. Um a righteous man having wisdom who would want to um, dwell here and make it in this society and stuff like that. This, you know, this society, like, me personally, I mean, I I can't see any way that, you know, uh, America could could exist any longer. So, like, look at all the other empires before this. Like, you, if you have any wisdom at all and could see, read the news, um, look at, I mean, just, you know, the Bible is a, uh, it's a history book also. All them super great empires and all that stuff they fell and the same thing's gonna happen here so why would you why would you uh you know not want to have faith and not uh trust in Musai? because this place is polluted so that's that's what we're supposed to do arise and depart arise ye and depart and know that this isn't our rest this ain't our kingdom being uh having to go to work every day having your uh your your woman all out of order your uh yeah, uh, the system against you and all this. Who want to live in something like that? So, I think, um, that's 
to the right, next scripture, uh, Isaiah 46 and 8. Isaiah 46 verse 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Yeah, remember this and show yourselves men. Remember our uh, our heritage, our nationality, our uh, the name of the Most High, the law, statutes, and commandments. Because um, this is what we're supposed to have uh, in our mind at all times. It's like um, um, what's it, um, Joshua 1 and 8. That, I mean, yeah, that's that's how we're supposed to. Uh, that's how we're supposed to. Uh, our mind is supposed to be. We're supposed to be uh, remembering history. Remember uh, the law, statutes, and commandments. Joshua one verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Yeah, so basically, uh, we're supposed to be meditating on the scriptures day and night. Like, um, you know, when you're at work and stuff, just not, um, you know, because like a lot of times when you're at work, you're around like two thirds and, um, you know, um, that and, you know, being around your family, because most of the time our family members and people in our, uh, our family, they're not, they're like not into this. So we got to, uh, you know, maintain our fear of the Lord and, um, you know, say like, um, you know, study not be slothful with that um pray constantly pray all right so um dude, that's that's what we're supposed to be doing remember the words of the most high all, all the time and if i can say something people who in the church they read the word success and what i just read which was uh joshua chapter one verses eight they read the word success and they think is uh living in basically prosperity having million billions of dollars you know driving maseratis or or may or may box such as comfy Okay, basically uh, living it up in the society, but that's not what the word means in the Hebrew. Okay, the word in the Hebrew is a uh, shakal, which means to be prudent, and that's what the brother is getting into in his lesson: being having integrity. Okay, being being diligent, being circumspect. Okay, basically all the attributes you, you should have in this truth: be circumspect, wisely understand. Uh, it says prosper here. It says to give attention to, consider, ponder, prudent, to have insight, have comprehension. It says to cause, to consider, to give insight, teach, the teachers, the wise, to act circumspectly. And that's basically it. And that's basically what our lesson is getting into, being circumspect, okay? And basically studying to show ourselves approved as basically men of the most high. Driving to the to so perfection. Ecclesiastes right, 12 and 13. This, this is a rock. No, no, I'm sorry. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Yeah, it said, fear, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High. Honor, respect, uh, honor, respect, honor, respect the Most High and um, keep his commandments. That is the whole, that's the duty of man, not, uh, you know, like um, on the movie, Don't Be a Menace. Ashtray, wake up. Mm -hmm. What's up, baby? I need to tell you something. What's up? I'm pregnant. Already? Are you sure? I got seven kids. I think I know what I'm talking about. That's she can't. I'm not ready to be no father right now. Oh, so you man enough to come up in me, but you ain't man enough to take care of what comes out, get my nails done, get my hair done, pay my rent, and get me a new car? You know what? You ain't nothing but a little boy. Um, she says you're not even a real man. You don't get my hair done, get my nails done, pay my rent, and get me a new car. That's not the definite. That's not what a man is. In, in the context of the Bible, that's a man is um, you know, like we said, fear the Most High and keep His commandments. So, mm -hmm. um, all right, we get Romans uh, twelve two. This is uh Romans twelve verse two. You want me to start at one or? Yeah, 